So my friends, we started with some good news and we are ending with good news at Wimbledon and James Longman is there. James, this is super exciting. Tell me everything and about our girl, uh, Coco. Well, Kimberly, first up, I mean, look at this beautiful day. You guys always say that London has bad weather, but look, proof at last, if you needed it, of how beautiful London can be. This is actually the press roof where uh, we all wait and see what's going to happen with the games. I, as a tennis fan, I can tell you I love it because we keep seeing like wildly famous tennis players up here. Uh, we're all keeping kind of score on what's going on. You can see some tennis being played over there. Fans line up on the, on the mount there to watch play on the screens outside court one, which is just there. And over here, let me just show you, just as the atmosphere of Wimbledon, this is why it's such a special place. Uh, crowds can walk through the courts and watch uh, matches being played. Most of the matches now uh, are doubles or uh, some of the juniors because it's we're down into the last eight of the men and the women so they're on the show courts but it is just glorious and yes you mentioned Coco and it is sad I'm afraid bad news that she is out of the competition she just lost 6-3 6-3 to S Simona Halep she's a number seven in the world very very good player former number one and I can tell you from watching she was so disappointed the crowd absolutely loved her you know they love an underdog here at Wimbledon it's what Wimbledon is known for but this girl has electrified people here. She's 15 years old and she plays with a guts. I cannot tell you, it is incredible to watch. Even when she is game point down, break point down, match point down in her match before this one, she played a backhand slice down the line that just clipped the line to stay in the game and then go on, of course, to win it. This, is, this girl is a sensation. And yes, she has lost today, but what an incredible run she had, of course, in the first round beating Venus Williams. And that is what uh, kind of woke everyone up to her incredible ability. So so yeah, Coco is out, um, but we've still got two Americans still in the draw. We've got Serena, of course. She stormed through her match against a Spanish national. And we have Alison Risky, who is the world number 55. She upset the world number one uh, to go through to the quarterfinal. So a lot of excitement on this, uh, on this the, uh, the second week, the first day of the second week in Wimbledon. And I'm just loving it, Kimberly. I'm just loving it here. <laughs> yes, James, you're living your best life. And as a big tennis fan, I know you are. What are you most excited about? I love Serena. I kind of shake when I watch her play. I just can't cope with watching her play badly. You know, she's one of these people who you don't know what, which Serena you're going to get. So when you go out and watch, and I saw her the other day on court one, um, you don't know if she's going to have an off day and you don't know if she's going to have a brilliant day. So I kind of have to close my eyes. And I'm one of those people that I think that if I'm watching her, she's going to lose. So I almost can't watch. So <laughs> I'm just hoping that she, she kind of wins this championship. She can do it. It'll be a record breaker if she does. Uh, Everyone here loves Serena. Um, I'm just obsessed with her. So that's my that's my that's the thing I'm really, really looking forward to. Serena Williams winning Wimbledon. All right. So cool that you're right there to see it all go down. Thank you so much, James. We'll see you soon. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.